Hey guys, what's going on? DuffKing56 here, back to continue our Let's Play of Yakuza Kiwami. Welcome, welcome back. It's been a while, it's been a whole day, if you will. A lot of exciting things going on here in Kamurocho, though. Last episode we did a lot of cleanup, we did a couple of side stories, we were also introduced to none other than the Pocket Circuit, which is pretty gosh darn awesome for us. Now we're back here, and we have some things that we'd like to do, of course. Let's get ourselves just everything in the adventure category first before we go and do anything else in the battle. Majima's around though, if you remember, we left off the last episode with him just being in the area somewhere. And I'm so bad at these, and I'm sure you guys are going to be yelling at me in the comments uh, as you... Ooh. Okay, we lucked out here. He's in the vending machine. Ooh, even better. We've got an ambush in the sewer grate. And of course he's badder Majima, which makes things so much more fun for us here. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, I will take that. That was very lucky of me. Yes, okay, broke the guard there. Damn it, we couldn't get him into a nice position there. We are tanking hits really badly, but we also have healing items, which is something I was excited to have. I'm very interested in seeing if I can do this without changing anything here, but we'll see. Perfect, okay, we got ourselves some, got ourselves a counter hit in there, actually. Cool, let's actually switch to here, get ourselves a nice Kiwami move. Oh, the headbutt. God, that looks like so painful, honestly. <laughs> I'll take it though. Yes, okay. Got some throw loops here. I'll take the resist here. Okay, good. I wanted to heal those exactly why I took all those hits because I knew I would be just fine. Oh, yes, we got ourselves a throw. Oh, let's see how much damage we do. Not as much as I thought, but beggars can't be choosers in these situations, so get on the ground. Oh, okay. I see how it is. I'll take that, though. All opportunities. Okay, very lucky we got ourselves some heat gauge. Perfect. Just make sure that he doesn't have those opportunities to heal and we get all of our Kiwami finishes on him. These fights are definitely taking longer something I'm very excited about. These things are going to get much more challenging. They make things so worth it when you have to go and fight Majima in these situations. Oh yes, get staggered, son. Damn it, I wanted to throw him really badly. Perfect, and we didn't mess up there with our reblocks. Man, I will take that 50-something experience that we got. We actually got 60... Thousand experience from those right there. But we got the Majima from below achievement, so I will take those trophies. Thank you very much. I doubt you couldn't surprise me again. Just make it easier to find you, man. That's all I really care about. Do we get any Dragon Dojima moves there? It doesn't exactly look like it. So that's okay. We don't really need to get a single ability here. We can worry about that a little bit later. But, let's go and talk to our drunk salary man here, and give him some shochu. Because that's the only th other thing that we had in our inventory. So let's see if we can bring this guy another drink. Scotch whiskey, okay, we're gonna have to go to the M store probably to get that. So let's see if we can go and do that. The closest M store is in our top left here. So we're probably going to have to hop back into the taxi, which is... Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to talk to that dude. Which is all the way down here. Of course, we can sprint for much longer now, which is very nice. I'm very much looking forward to when I can sprint everywhere without getting tired. I don't think I did that back in the Yakuza 0 Let's Play. So it would be kind of cool to add. As just one of those things that I can improve upon on this Let's Play, even though this game seems to be a lot shorter. Like, we're already in Chapter 8, we're not even 40 episodes into things here. And of course things are going to get even faster as we go along, which is something that you guys probably could have guessed. 
because of the pace of the game. So that's why I kind of want to show more stuff since I have more time to do those sorts of things. Let's hop in this M store before we get messed up here. Actually, that's right near where the bump and scam is. We should check if that is still a thing. But anyways, we have to buy some okay. scotch whiskey here. So let's see if they actually have it. Oh, it doesn't even look like they have scotch whiskey? Well, that's kind of shitty. It's actually, since we're here, where the hell would we buy scotch whiskey? That's really the question. I don't think we can buy it at the Don Quixote. That's kind of weird. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Let's see if we can show you guys a magazine really quick. Let's just show you the weekly shonen. See what's on the front cover here. Oh, very interesting. I don't know shit, man. From 1959. Wow, there's definitely some history there. The manga's to our right, though. Ooh. Majima. Oh, Jesus. I did not think he'd be waiting outside the store for us. That's fine. I'll just go meet you. Look at him. He's still there. That's that's absolutely amazing to me. <laughs> Freaking stalker, man. I know you're watching us, but you're watching us look at manga, man? That's That's... I feel kind of humiliated. We just fought you, nonetheless. But that's okay. They're not girly mags, dude. Promise. It was a shonen, okay? Ugh. He wants to fight. <laughs> that is definitely what every man would want. Kiryu is definitely for your fights. Oh man, it's not really thinks we're gonna be a pervert. We're gonna have to fight this man to defend our honor. Oh Jesus. <laughs> a spoiled child. Oh man. You invented the tax, huh? Interesting. I like the cut of your jib, Majima. Ooh, is it Breaker Majima? Oh, we are lucky, guys. We get to see some more breakdancing goodness. Actually, we're going to be able to pretty much, like, overpower him in this mode, if you will. Those counterattacks are going to take him right out of things. Oh wow. Okay. Oh god, he's juggling us. Okay, we have to be a lot more careful here than we once thought. Should I see if it, ooh. Take that, though. Blocks are always good in these situations. Wow, he really just knocks us over there. We can never really predict the guard breaks, so that's something we have to be very cognizant about in the future. There we go. I guess we got some regards there, so I'm happy about that. There we go, we knocked him out. Oh, man, we definitely probably need to be in rush style for these sorts of fights. Especially because of the quickness of it. And here, I'm thinking that we were going to be able to overpower him, but clearly that wasn't it. Ooh, nice little uppercut there. And of course our aura aura attack. That actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be damage-wise. It did a lot more than I originally thought. I'll take that, though. We have ourselves some new guards to use as well, as in a guard after you hit. Got ourselves bobbing and weaving to go here. We can just take our time here. Probably shouldn't be guarding if we want to just get ourselves out of harm's way there. Let's see what we can do with full power here. Clearly not as much damage as the last time, but not bad nonetheless. We have like no more bikes to use. Well, I mean they're on the ground, so you can probably pick them up. Take all those dodges. Oh god. He like sort of delayed that. I wasn't expecting that. Damn it. I was trying to jump the gun there. And boy did I get punished for that. Damn it. He sort of like 
There we go. Okay, well, that was good enough. Oh, that was very lucky. Gosh, there's a lot more XP there, though, so that's good. I will take that, though. That was a tough fight. I will not lie. That was very bad for me. Thanks for the fight, though. That was fun, actually. Can't even lie about that. And some more credit fighting against Breaker Majima. I know that's kind of rough. But that's just what we have to deal with there. We need to find some whiskey, so where would we be able to find that? Maybe the popo over there. Maybe the drugstore. I just doubt that we're going to be able to find anything at the C stores around town. Because the popos just haven't yielded anything for us. They're definitely not the adult DVD store, that's for sure. So let's actually head over to the drugstore. Probably have some more things that we can buy if we really want to. We eventually have to redeem our silver plate here. So eventually we'd like to do that as well. But anyways, let's try... Let's just try the, uh, the popo near the drugstore. And maybe we'll get lucky. I know it's kind of like a half-assed answer to this conundrum, but... I honestly, if it's not, if the whiskey's not at the M store, then it's either going to be at the Don Quixote or another Popo, obviously, than the one that we looked at. Because the other Popo only had um, the shochu and the beer. So, clearly he wasn't happy with the beer. I, that just sounds really weird. I'm not even going to bother with that. The guy's just, like, spitting up and shit, so... Not a good look for anybody there at all. Okay, so the Popo's over here. It's the first thing we're going to visit. See if we can grab our whiskey. Now, it's probably going to be a shitty quest again. But we're not going to worry about it too much. We're just going to have our fun with it and go. And then I'll show you the manga. So hopefully you have some whiskey that we need. Yeah, it's, the, it's always the same like lineup here. We need whiskey. Right, I'll show you the manga though. Let's see if we can find a Kagi. That's exactly what I want to show. Some good Mahjong shit. No, well, it looks like we can't. That's very unfortunate. Maybe that's just a Yakuza 5 thing. Maybe so, maybe no. I don't know. But that's okay. We obviously have things on our plate to do, so we're not going to be too hassled about not doing anything in that regard. I could fight Majima again if I really wanted to. Well, if I could find him, that is. But I sort of want to head towards the. Don Quixote, like I said I wanted to do before. Yeah, he's not in there. Okay, so if we can't find him just like straight up, uh, clearly we don't want to fight. Alright, man. I mean, we don't want to fight, but we will. That's very unfortunate. I was out of the range of that attack. Okay, that's really mean of you. Perfect, okay. Just want to get those hazards off the map. Stun gun being a huge hazard. Oh, we got a stun attack there. We haven't done that one in a while. Very happy. Knocked him into another opponent there. And it probably knocked... Yeah, knocked him out. So that's always good. Perfect. Another hazard off the board. And another hazard being a body out of consciousness. Okay, cool. 150 enemies defeated on the streets, man. That's that's not bad. You gotta hand it to me there. That was a pretty good showing. We really don't want to do Mezu King just yet. We can probably save that for the next episode. So let's see what Don Quixote has to offer. Hopefully whiskey, right? I mean, if not, then we're really kind of shit out of luck. Because I wasn't at the M store, so we have to really think about where we're going to get our whiskey. But maybe they do, and I'm just being sort of a downer here. Okay, it has champagne. Boss Black. I oh, need whiskey. That's uh, not exactly what we want. Man, that's really unfortunate. I could have sworn that they would have whiskey. They have champagne. Maybe the guy's so drunk he wouldn't even know if we had whiskey or not, but ugh, where the hell would we get it? Maybe it's just another popo. But I'm sort of really like out of options, I guess. Let's check the C store down the street since it's close enough. 
I know I'm spending a lot of time searching for a sub-story, but eventually, maybe he'll be so drunk that he'll give us something good. Now, I know that's probably not the case, but it would be nice, don't you think? They're playing Christmas music in here. Oh, that's so nice. Hey, Scotch Whiskey, okay. Perfect. We should pick up some gold champagne, because maybe he'll want champagne as, like, the last step in his sub-story. I don't really know, honestly. But we got to the next margin in this sub-story, so I'm happy at least about that, right? We can be happy that we found the whiskey. It definitely was just a matter of which sea store you get. I'm wondering if we have to go to each sea store to get, like, a specific or... What's the word I'm looking for? Unique brand of booze that only they sell. It's kind of like a bar crawl, like a reverse bar crawl here. Ooh, where's he again? Oh, he's in the freaking sewer again? Shit. A lot of Majima on this episode. Not that I will complain or anything there. Perfect. Oh, he dodged after that? All right, man. Take that. Get our punches in. Probably the best way to just get out of the way. Yeah, take that. Just get our dodges going on. He's just taking it there. Yeah, take the power hits. I want to get a stun heat move off on him, because that'd be really cool. He doesn't stay dizzy for long, though, honestly. Take that, though. I've actually, like, whittled down quite a bit of his health this way, so I kind of want to stick as with this as my strategy. Eventually, he's going to go into the, his healing mode. The only problem is we're not really going to be able to knock him down like this. Which is kind of like the most unfortunate part of it all, I guess. Yep. I'll take that, though. It makes it easy, because we build a lot of heat with our dodges and our quick punches. Maybe we'll get a hit while he's down here. Nope. Okay. Oh, that was kind of interesting. I must have like a nice little flow going there. But we can definitely farm there. That's a very interesting element that I didn't think about before. Yeah. Just go in, do some hit and run like we do a shakedown. Which is like my chief strategy. Just make sure we build as much heat as we can for free, if it's free, you know? Ah, come on, dodge, dodge, dodge. Alright, got out of that. That's good. Alright. Get our licks in. He's gonna go into his health up mode eventually. Oh god, we gotta get out of this if we can. Alright, well that was good enough, I suppose. Nice dodge, Majima. Oh man, we're really taking it now. There we go. Come here, buddy. You've got some face to meet the pavement for me. All I wanted to do was bring back that dude's booze, you know? Oh well. See if we can get a grab off. We haven't done that. Okay, well, well, well. There we go. The item broke so easily. Ooh, okay. That was way more damage that we can afford to handle right now. Let's get you on the ground. Oh, perfect. We can finish him off with a nice little heat move here. Into the vending machine you go. And more big points for me. And more Dragon of Dojima rank. Which is always good. Well, let's actually go and redeem our booze, finally. We're getting close to rank B. That means these fights are going to get much more difficult here. Ooh, Dragon's Wrath. What is that? Here we go. 
Your attack power is increased when your health is low during heat mode. Okay, so that's only during Dragon of Dojima fighting style, which is most unfortunate here. Can we help this guy? Oh, yeah, let's exchange. Yay, okay, so we got 2,000 yen. I'm glad we're a damn hero. So that's one out of five. I want to sort of turn them all in at once because that's just how I am. Let's go and talk to our sloshed salary man here and give him his whiskey. Of course we have scotch. Here you go, buddy. Let's see. Oh, yes, Scotland. Oh, yes, very interesting. You are just so good, man. I wonder what this guy's gonna want next. It's gonna be like 100 yen. Yeah, 500 yen. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Spent like six grand on that stuff. He did increase the amount he gave us by 50 times. That is something to note. Alright, let's see if we can proc the last booze quest from him. What's up, dude? Nothing. Clearly nothing. How are we going to be able to get this guy's quest to pop back up on our map? Ooh, I see something on the ground. Okay, let's actually grab that first. Oh my gosh, I have to take you guys bowling. Interesting. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to do that. Show you my prowess at bowling. Actually, bowling is probably... I would say... Whoa. Alright, man. Another suspicious dude. What do you want me to do? Clearly he wants me to do something illegal, right? I mean, that's just how it is. Oh, okay. So the code is, you're very sexy. We're gonna get in trouble for that. Yeah, that's easy. Thousand yen, tell the woman by the pachinko parlor that she's all good. Okay, man. You'll be waiting for me? Uh, you'll be waiting for a long time, because I got a lot of stuff to do. Just wanted to check if there is any good stuff down here, aka the coin locker keys, but that is not the case. I think the pachinko parlor is like over there by Theater Square, because we got ourselves something that doesn't match up with what we had before. So, shit. You have to say you are sexy. Give her a thousand yen. You're very sexy. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think you got the wrong woman, Kiryu. Let's try this girl. A not so beautiful woman. Oh shit. You're very sexy. Oh Jesus. Kiryu's just like not having this. Oh my gosh. It's only 10 bucks if you think about it. Oh god. Kiryu, no! <laughs> Damn it. Of course it's the last one in line, right? That just makes the most sense. But let's go and tell the last person that she's sexy. You're very sexy. We'll give you the thousand. Let's pay her. I love with the option we have the option not to pay her at all. It's always very interesting to me. Ooh, okay. We'll bring that bag back. Oh shit. There's definitely some like undergarments in there. Shit. Poor Kiryu. Um, let's look inside. We we obviously have the bag. It's suspicious indeed. Yep. Of course, of course. That's okay, though. We want to help whenever we can. You know, the good people of Kamurocho deserve a hero like Kiryu who can do what hasn't been done before. You know, do the impossible. Ooh. It's probably the other girl here. Yeah, see, Rina wants me to come. Eventually we'll go and do those, just not right now. We have to turn in the side quest. Suspicious paper bag for you. Oh, this guy wants to fight, huh? I don't think you're gonna want to do this with Kiryu. 
Oh, nice. Thanks for the 50k. Dude, we wouldn't tell anybody. Like, we're bros, you know? Episode, uh, Substory 28, though, under suspicion, is finished. But, you know, I wasn't going to tell anybody. I'm a nice person like that. I would never, like, rat out somebody about their private interests. I consider those sacred, if you will. So, I don't know. That's just sort of how I feel. But anyways, crap. That's that's pretty much it for the episode. It looks like our beer dude is not here anymore. So, I think I will end it there. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little episode of Yakuza Kiwami. This has been Duffking56. Next time, we're going to do the all-fateful Mezu King. So, I will catch you all later. See you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.